my top five knots for survival camping and bushcraft. Number one is two half hitches. Take your working end around the tree, under, back through the hole, and then do that again. Under, over, down through the hole, cinch that up against your tree. I love two half hitches because they're easy to tie in the dark, easy to tie one hand in in case you're injured. You can utilize it to set up a ridge line and keep in mind, it's not a secure knot to do any sort of climbing with. Number two is a fisherman's knot. Take one, wrap it around and back through, going along the length of the rope. Take the other side, wrap it around and take it back through towards the end of the rope, then pull these together. This is a great way to bring any type of cordage together with another piece. Make sure that the pieces you're tying are of the same diameter. And again, none of these are useful for climbing. I'm just utilizing survival and bushcraft methodology. Next knot is the Prusik. To help remember how to do this, I think of this being a tongue, and then we're gonna pierce the tongue three times. One, two, three times. And then we're going to bring all of that together. Now the key when we get this done is that all of these pieces here should be parallel on top and on bottom. You don't want these pieces all being crossed up. The beauty of this and the usefulness is that you can slide this where you need it to be and then when you pull tension on the tail it tightens down and then again once you take tension off it'll slide again you'll probably want to dress it up again every time you do that so the beauty of this is think about setting up a tarp you can set up the corners of a tarp you can set up gear and move it along a line if you have a fire you can set up a rope that's high above a fire and hang stuff off of it and move stuff over the fire and then bring it back just make sure if you're going to utilize that over a fire that this is really high and away from the heat. This knot, like many others, are named after a person. And the gentleman's name who we believe came up with this is Carl Prusik. Next one is a trucker's hitch. Check it out. We're going to start off with an anchor to a tree. I use two half hitches for that. For survival and bushcraft, I first like to take a loop. And then I pull from the side that I'm tying from through that loop to create an overhand loop. I then take my working end around the tree and back up through that overhand loop. This creates a pulley now. So I can then cinch this down as hard as I want to or as loose as I want to. There's times for both. The next part is, see if I let this go, it slides back through. So I pull my tension and then I pinch it right there to hold it. Then I create a bite that comes up and back down through and holds it in place. To make that more secure, I can take that bite again and do the same thing twice to make it a little bit more secure. Again, this is for survival, bushcraft, camping, stuff of that nature. Uh, I'm not going to utilize this for climbing, but this makes for a great line to set up for a ridge line and actually there's a lot of uses i have another video on that on how to utilize this to pull trees down how to do a number of things where we use this as a pulley to pull things a certain direction but it's a great ridge line for any sort of tarp setup number five for our purposes today is a clove hitch clove hitch real simple just lay out your line you create a loop you create another loop just like it and then you take that second loop and put it behind the first. You can then put this over any type of pole or arm. Here's the clove hitch I just tied. So let's slide this over the arm of the table here. And then I can pull these separate pieces to pull tension. And now we have a fairly secure hitch. And if we want to make it better, we can do our half hitches where we take it over, down through to pull and then over and down through to pull. So we have an even more secure clove hitch now. This has been my top five knots. What are your top five knots? There's some that are missing, right? 
These are not to be utilized for climbing and securing a human form off of them. They're for setting up tarps, setting up camps, setting up cook supplies, and all things of that nature for survival, bushcraft, and camping. Keep that in mind. Come on, join in. Let's learn together.